On this week's two minute tip, we're talking trellising determinate tomatoes. So I've got three rows of determinate tomatoes here behind me. One row of Bella Rosa, a row of Brickyard, and then a row of the Mountain Glory variety. And for determinate tomatoes, we like to use the Florida weed technique to trellis these guys and keep the plants and fruit off the ground and nice and healthy. Now these plants are only about a foot tall right now and they're not quite ready to run the first line of string for our trellis, but I like to go ahead and get my stakes in the ground. As these plants grow, I like to come in there and prune those bottom lateral stems and heal or throw dirt upon them plants to stabilize the plants more and encourage more root development. So because of that, it's easier to go ahead and put the stakes in now so I don't have to dig as deep to find my drip tape and make sure I don't puncture that when I'm driving my stakes in the dirt. For stakes, I like to use T-posts and then these four foot long wooden stakes right here that are kind of square. Now I've had people in the past ask could they use bamboo or something that's round and those just don't work as well. You need something that's gonna provide a little friction on that string so when you wrap around it, it's gonna hold tight and give you a nice tight trellis to keep those tomato plants upright. So we put the T-post on the end of each row and one T-post in the middle of the row and that kind of helps to stabilize the system. And then we put a wooden stake between every single plant. Now I've tried this in the past, we're putting a wooden stake every two plants and it just doesn't work as well. So I like to put a wooden stake between every plant. That's the way the commercial guys around here do it. Works great for them and it's worked great for me the last few years. So when I'm getting ready to drive my T-post or my wooden stakes, what I do is I just reach down there in the soil, find my drip tape, put the point of the stake right to the side of the drip tape in the middle of each plant and drive it down far enough so it holds good and it's nice and stable. And once these plants get a little taller and those stems get a little thicker, we'll be ready to run our first line of string on this Florida weave trellis here. So if you've never tried the Florida weave method for determinate tomatoes, definitely give it a try. It's a tried and true method that's worked for us for many years. It's really strong, holds up really well. I even like to call it hurricane proof because we've had two major hurricanes in each of the last two years. And after those hurricanes with sustained 75 mile an hour winds or greater, our Florida weave trellis was still standing. So this is a great, tough method to use for tomatoes in your garden. Hope you enjoyed this week's two minute tip. We'll see you next week.